red alert, red alert, red alert. <laughs> um, call to arms to all the Bible-believing, born-again Christians out there that protest the abuses of Rome. Um, America is a Protestant nation. America has never been a Catholic nation. Our founding fathers came here to protest what Rome was doing and to get away from Roman Catholic-controlled Europe. That is the reason for America. America is not here to just welcome everybody in and, and just all, you know, we'll pay you to not work and you don't have to pay rent and whatever, all the other abominations that this nation has turned into because of the Roman Catholic Church shipping in hordes of, of uh, wicked people and bringing in all kinds of crime and sin and everything, including the mafia and wonderful things like that. Um, our weapons are under attack. First and foremost, the King James Bible, which I hold in my hand here, the King James Version of the Scriptures is under attack. Uh, they come out and they ban it in the Utah schools. They don't ban the, ver the versions that come from the Vatican, like the NIV or the NASV or whatever else. It's the King James Version that they're going after, trying to say that it has lewd and horrible things in it, when it does not. All right, It's just wicked Satanism. And now you actually have a cardinal, a Roman Catholic cardinal, asks Americans to voluntarily forego right to guns. It's just a few days ago, June 1st, 2023. Look at this. This is insanity. Cardinal Joseph W. Tobin of Newark, New Jersey. They have plenty of violence there in New Jersey, especially Camden, I think it is. Answers questions during a news conference at the Fall General Assembly of the USCCB in Baltimore, November 12th, 2019. It's just a stock photo, in other words, of this uh, devil. He's a devil. He's a devil. Don't even give me, oh, he's a good man. He just means, no, he's a devil. You get to the level of cardinal in the Catholic Church, you are a very satanic devil. Um, and I'll show you the reason why I'm so radical about this. If you're Catholic, you better get to understand what you are part of and why the Bible condemns Mystery Babylon, the city that reigns over the kings of the earth, the city that sits on seven hills and that's drunken with the blood of the martyrs and saints of Jesus Christ. Rome, ancient pagan Rome that said, we're going to be Catholic now under Constantine. And they get the spiritual and the temporal swords and they hold them together and they can fight with the ban under the banner of Christian, you know, Christianity or whatever. Disgusting. But look at this. New York, amid a mounting debate in America over the constitutionality of gun control. What? There's no, no. Shall not be infringed. There's no debate. You're not going to take away the guns. Simple. Cardinal Joseph Tobin of New York has entered the fray with a different argument that people should voluntarily forego their Second Amendment rights for the betterment of society. Uh, oh, okay. Um, has gun control ever bettered any society? No, not ever. Crime always gets worse. And the worst killings of the 20th century, you know, democide, governments killing their own people. The worst countries that have had the most killings came after gun control. Documented historical fact. I honestly believe that it is. I honestly believe it is the best thing we can do to change the culture of violence that threatens us today. Tobin said, "Let's voluntarily, voluntarily set aside our rights in order to witness the truth that only peace and ever violence is the way to build a free society that is lived concretely in our homes, our neighborhoods, our communities, our nation, and our world." He said, "Did you catch it? Let's voluntarily set aside our rights." Excuse me. One of the rights there, bodily integrity. Nobody has a right to come and tell you what to do with your body. Oh, we should voluntarily set that aside. Oh, as you're bringing in hordes of Roman Catholic invaders through illegal aliens coming into this country. As you keep pushing Russia and pushing them and pushing them, trying to trigger them into war. And pushing China, trying to, trying to trigger them into war. Trying to start World War III. And now's the time to give up our rights. Crime is getting worse, and we should give up our guns as crime gets worse. And you're defunding the police. They're supposed to be there to protect us. Huh? <laughs> they want to slaughter you. Do you understand? This sick devil right here and the satanic cult that he's a part of, they want to slaughter you. They have a long history of it. I'll get into that here in a minute show you some proof. Tobin made the plea in a recent letter. Pray for an end to all instances of violence. Huh? That goes against scripture. I'll show you that in a minute. Where he calls on community leaders and Catholic bishops 
himself included to call for a synodal effort to actively resist gun violence. Oh, you, you mean you might do another interdict? Like you did back in 2020 to 2023? People pandemic interdict? That's what it was. All the worlds have to shut down their economies and everything else. It was an order from the from the Vatican. That's what that was. We proved it. I proved it in a, in a study. My wife and I showed the papers, showed the proof. Oh, we're going to have a synodal effort? Who controls America again? Oh, it's Joe Biden. He's a <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's the Catholic Church. He purposed, proposed a threefold process that includes prayer and work, advocacy, and voluntary self-restraint from the Second Amendment. <laughs> self-restraint from the Second Amendment? Oh, there's some guy kicking in my door right now. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to come in and rape my wife and sodomize my son. Okay, I'm out. I'm not protecting. <laughs> Voluntary restraint. Self-restraint. What a madman. The letter published May 26 is the latest call to action amid a spate of mass shootings in recent months. May 30 marked the 150th day of 2023, over which time there have been 263 mass shootings, incidents with four or more people shot that have led to 327 deaths. Both figures are records for this this early in the year. Uh, and why are there that many shootings? I wonder why. Uh, would it be because... Um, Children are taught in the schools that they're just basically coming from monkeys. There is no God. There's no accountability. You're not going to have to answer for your sins. Uh, why doesn't Dimwit here, this stupid cardinal, why doesn't he say, hey, it's, a, it's time we get rid of evolution theory. It's time we kick evolution out of the schools, start teaching people about God and punishment for sin. Why doesn't he say that? He's a high church official. Huh. How about that? And uh, do you think maybe if we stopped covering these mass shootings, do you think that uh, all of a sudden the people that want to do this to get famous, uh, do you think that they might stop shooting? Yeah. That's how you fight crime. That's why you go to a crime scene. The police aren't going to say, oh, come on in. Take as many pictures as you want. No, uh, sorry. This is a crime scene. You stay out. Because they don't want copycat criminals coming along and doing the same thing. Basic. Criminology 101. But you see the media, they want the mass shootings. They want more of it because it's the papists that are behind the whole thing. Memorial Day weekend was especially violent. Nationwide, there were at least 20 mass shootings and that left 16 people dead and at least 80 more injured. Then why don't we have more guns to protect the people? 16 people dead. What if they were all armed? Here comes a mass shooter. <laughs> And the people say, oh, no, duck behind something, gun out. <sighs> Problem solved. There would have been a whole lot more mass shootings if it wasn't for good people stopping a lot of them. But let's not talk about that. The data comes from the Gun Violence Archive, which has tracked all gun-related injuries and deaths in the U.S. since 2013. The organization reports that as of May 31st, there have been a total of a total 17,629 gun violence deaths in the U.S., 7,663 homicides and 9,966 suicides. Why are there being suicides? Why include that in the thing there? Like the guns are to blame for people blowing their brains out or something. And how do you know that they were all gun related? <laughs> uh, people kill themselves in other ways, you know, other than guns, you do realize. See, they're going to do whatever they can to wage war against the American people, the American patriots out there that are saying, you're not taking my gun away. I don't care what you have to say. You're not taking it. Shall not be infringed. Simple. They're going to do whatever they have to do. And you see the American, the Roman, Romerican, we'll say, favorite way of warfare that they like to do is they like to say, okay, if you're not going to get into a fight with us, we'll push you into a fight. You don't want to give up your guns? Then we will send our own people to do gun violence. If you're a good person and you're not going to go out and commit crimes with a gun, then we'll raise up our own people and they'll go out and commit crimes with guns so we can take yours away. That's what they do. That's what literally this whole thing is. And you got the stinking papists and they're saying, we need to stop 
Guns. We need to get the guns away from the American people. You have to give up your rights. The longer you're saved and the more wickedness you see in this world, you really start to understand why God burns people forever in the lake of fire. You really do. That's why Paul wrote, he said, that their damnation is just. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I'd love to see the guy get saved. This horrible satanic devil. It'd be great to see him get saved, come out of this thing and say, hey, I'm a formal Catholic cardinal. I got saved. I'm born again now. Let me tell you what the Catholic Church does. Praise the Lord. That'd be wonderful. But uh, probably not going to happen ever. Um, so, hey, follow a sick devil like that. Well, you deserve your damnation. Um, there were 20,200 gun violence deaths in all of 2022 and 21,009 you know, in 2021, the organization reported. Um, <clears throat> and you look at car accidents and, you know, drunken driving stuff and it blows this stuff away. But let's not get into that either. A 2018 report by the Small Arms Survey, an organization that tracks violence globally, found that U.S. gun owners possess 393.3 million firearms, praise the Lord, which is well above the nation's 331.9 million population. Yeah. <laughs> um, think about that. Uh, Americans like guns. Okay, I like guns very much. Uh, I would not feel very safe living where I do without guns around. You know, we actually have animals here that can kill you, right? I'm not on the top of the food chain here in northern Maine. There are, you know, animals around that could kill me or kill my son especially. Um, I'm not going to be living without firearms. That's insanity. With that in mind, Tobin made the case that while legislation regulations are necessary in the case of gun violence, as with all life issues, it's equally as important to, quote, regulate our behavior in order to protect the vulnerable and ensure the common good. I absolutely do that. Well-regulated militia being necessary to the you know free to the order of a free state. I think it says the right of the uh, people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Sorry if I'm messing that up a little bit, but uh, I'm all for regulating our behavior. I see some woman getting beat out here and gang raped by a bunch of guys. Guess what? Time to go. You know what I mean? I'll regulate my behavior, and I'll re regulate theirs, too. It's true that we have a Second Amendment right to bear arms, but rights always involve responsibilities. Yeah, that's why you learn to shoot. In this case, the responsibility to protect the innocent and to secure public safety and good order, Tobin said, the mass shootings we are witnessing almost weekly now are a serious threat to the lives and well-being of all people. Oh, you're witnessing them almost weekly? How are you witnessing the mass shootings? Are you there physically? Well, that's right. You're watching them over television, telling you a vision of what the Catholic Church wants to do. <laughs> so ridiculous. Um, see if I want to read much more of this. In the Cardinal's threefold synodal process, he echoes what other U.S. prelates have said, stating that prayers alone aren't enough to pr adequately address the issue. Instead, Tobin said that, that Catholics must combine prayer with action to prevent the root cause of gun violence. Under the second part of that process advocacy, Tobin calls on Catholics to make their voices heard. This isn't a Catholic nation. As an integral part of our efforts to prevent gun violence, all Americans should make local, state, and federal officials know how we feel about this critical issue. He said, we should make our voices heard, demanding that actions be taken to prevent or to protect the vulnerable and keep our communities safe. In other words, he's calling for gun control. Come confiscate our guns. What do you think that's going to do? That's going to cause more violence. Let's just say that they come out and they say, okay, we've had enough. Gun control is coming in. You realize how much bloodshed there would be in this country? Because of innocent, law-abiding, peaceful, patriot Americans coming out and saying, hey, whoa, wait a second here. You're not taking my guns away. I've invested, you know, I mean, just forget the thing of gun rights, just a purely monetary thing here. I've invested thousands of dollars into my guns and my ammunition and everything. I, it's my whole life. I go hunting. I, I love to carry, you know, firearms and things. It keeps me safe when I'm out hunting in dangerous areas and things. You can't just come and take that. Oh, hey, you're going to? Okay, well, then there's going to be a problem. There's going to have to be a fight now. It would cause bloodshed. You see how the Catholic Church does this stuff? 
The third and final part of Tobin's process is self-restraint, which he acknowledges is a challenging and controversial proposal that won't alone solve the problem of gun violence, but could ho help change the culture. The voluntary self-restraint that I am calling for will not solve the problem of gun violence all by itself, but it can help us change our culture from one that is obsessively focused on individuals' rights huh? to a society dedicated to ensuring the common good, Tobin said. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, for the greater good and, and everything else. Crush the rights of a few for the common good. See how that works? Tobin cited Pope Francis's statement that violence is not the cure for our broken world. Really? Well, you know what? There are dope Francis, you satanic vessel of Satan. Let me explain something to you. And put it out there. Hey, send this thing to the Vatican. You people at the Vatican that are watching this. Pope Francis is a devil. Look what Jesus Christ said. The supposed founder of the Catholic Church, which he didn't found the Catholic Church. Okay, Satan founded it. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Huh. What about Luke chapter 22? Let's go to Luke chapter 22 and read the words of Jesus Christ again. Luke chapter 22, verse 36. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. You don't have a sword? You better buy one. Well, Brother Ryan, we're in the UK, and we're over here in this country and that country. We can't have guns. I'm sorry. You should have fought. And you see, the killing is not going to really get started of the white Protestants out there. It won't get, you know, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, the wasps. They're not going to kill us all until they can get rid of the guns from the American patriots. Because, see, then there's no place for you to go to. They'll just kind of hold back and, oh, we won't kill the, the British and the Germans and the whatever areas where the wasps live. Um, but as soon as they get away the guns from the American patriots, it's going to be complete, total elimination of the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. That's why the Catholics want so bad to take your guns away. See, they're getting bold now because they're so close to achieving their goals. And they know from the pandemic years that most of the Christians in America are spineless cowards. They understand that. But let's continue here. Um, please join me in praying for an end to all instances of violence, especially gun violence in our schools, churches, place of, places of business, and in the public square, Tobin said. Um, then you're denying the words of Jesus Christ, you wicked Christ-rejecting satanic devil, you. You disgusting troll. Jesus Christ said that there would be violence. Oh, and the, oh, the Catholic Church, oh, we want to end violence. We're, we're all about ending violence. Oh, we're such peaceful people, really? How about the uh, Spanish Inquisition? It was a judicial institution that lasted between 1478 and 1834. Its ostensible purpose was to combat heresy in Spain, but in practice, it resulted in consolidating power in the monarchy of the newly unified Spanish kingdom. Its brutal methods led to widespread death and suffering. Britannica. Encyclopedia Britannica. The Spanish Inquisition. Death and suffering from people who were unarmed. You say, okay, that's back in the 1800s. That's back in the 1800s. Okay, how about we talk about the Ustashi? How about that? Back during World War II. You get Catholics right here, these Papists. And there you get them, Heil Hitler, with Ante Pavlik, over there in Croatia and, and Yugoslavia. Read Avery Manhattan's book, The Vatican's Holocaust. How that you had Catholic priests going and becoming soldiers, commanding officers for the Ustashi, killing people, Forced conversions to Catholicism. Well, I didn't learn about that in my history class. Yeah, I wonder why. There they are, forcibly converting people. Recorded history. This is less than 100 years ago. Here you have the Ustashi soldiers, right there. Going to cut a guy's head off with a crosscut saw. There's one. Look, oh, look at where cut a heretic's head off. Pointing at it. <laughs> less than 100 years ago. These atrocities were going on. 
And how about Pope Pius XII right here and Franz von Papen sorting, uh, signing a concordat between the Vatican and Nazi Germany? The Vatican saying, we'll give you our support. You remember Nazi Germany with all the killing and all the murdering over there? Oh, that's right. They took away the German people's guns before it started. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it'll be different this time because we're more civilized. Yeah. And here, how about that picture right there? Hitler. And this, I guess he's a bishop or something like that, or archbishop or whatever else. These people are monsters. They're drunken with the blood of the martyrs and saints of Jesus, according to Revelation chapter 17. They can't get enough. It's not just a little sip of blood that they like. They like to get drunk on the blood of innocent people. And then you have Christians fight back once in a while. Protestants will fight back. They'll say, that's enough. And they'll kill a bunch of wicked Catholics. And then the Catholics go, oh, they've been killed by the Protestants. Oh. <laughs> makes me sick. It makes me absolutely sick. If you're a Roman Catholic, I love you enough to tell you the truth. You need to get out of that satanic system that you're in because you can't go to heaven as a Catholic. Period. Well, the Catholic Church is what Christ founded. Not one word about a Catholic Church in the King James Bible. There's no Pope. There's no priest. In terms of the celibate priesthood, uh, there's New Testament priesthood of the believer. Let me say that. There's no nuns. There's no monks. Franciscans. Jesuits. Go out and forcibly convert people and whatever else. Force conversions. There's none of this stuff. There's no going to church. There's no holy sacraments. There's no mass. Holy Mary, Mother of God, that title doesn't exist in the King James Bible. Assumption of Mary, the Immaculate Conception, none of it. You are in a satanic cult. You need to come out of it. So just seeing this, that makes my blood absolutely boil. Okay, I am a Protestant and in terms of I am not a reformer. I protest Rome. I don't seek to reform Rome. I stay away from Rome. There's no way to fix something that God has already written about in his word that he's going to destroy himself. God never forgives Rome. You better think about that. God remembers what she has done. Holy Mother Church, you know. God remembers. And he says, I have it in for you, Roman Catholicism. And he says, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. You will be a partaker of her sins. If you're a patriotic American, Roman Catholic, according to your own uh, confession, you'd say, I'm a patriot, I'm, a, I'm an American, I'm, but I'm Catholic. Do you want to give up your guns? You better think about that. 